Oh, 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 all right. that I'm tired just only warming up for combat with adobo. All right, so I mentioned about adobo. So what is adobo? And why I'm gonna be the winner? So, you know that for boxing? Seems like I'm the one for being boxer. Adobo is another style of boxer, all right. So who is the referee? And who is the become the tiger for me? Everybody, okay, keep there. You're gonna be. <laughs> you feel like I'm gonna be hit you? No, no, no. Just only adobo. All right. So today I'm gonna be combat again and again. Combat with adobo. Have you ever tried adobo? Yes, I'm the chef. So gonna be combat with the food recipe. All right. This place is for adobo. Yes, adobo. And for this kind of food recipe, some is or confused that it's the kind of Spanish food. That is not right, everybody. For ingredient, process, everything is from, uh, seem like original from uh, Philippine. Philippine. So why they confuse with Spanish? All right, this is the one tip that I'm gonna be telling you. Spanish is the name is adobo, that hybrid from adoba. Adoba is mean many mari marinated. Why Spanish is judging that is to be adobo? Because they go to visit Philippines and they see that original food are so attractive, so it's no name yet. Spanish judge that adobo. Alright. This is I really want to challenge with it that I cannot be the winner or not. And it's according to my referee as well. So who is my referee? Okay, so welcome to my referee. My referee. Yeah. He is Uncle Roger. You know him? He is the really famous commentator for recipe. So today I invite him to be my referee. <laughs> All right, so I hope that he's gonna be um, stay on my side and oh yeah, they're gonna be the winner from the other world. This is only one reason. So, my checker, my checker also invite three, 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 three like this. Yes, Andy, Joe's, and also Marian as well. Yes, so three call of them really, really famous chef that cooking the food recipe on an adobo. Uh, you know that for Andy, he also flew flew to Philippines because this kind of Filipino adobo. You know why? Because however, it seems like very, very simple, but in it held the special tip. It seems like from original and cultural of it. You know, he's, he flew to Philippines for the Filipino adobo and for adobo, not only in Filipino, but it seems like style Mexico adobo as well. And original and one more thing right now becomes so uh, seem like hybrid from one generation to generation to be like homemade right now. So today I gonna be let you see my adobo that's called that's called everybody easiest adobo homemade. All right, so everything is telling you. So let's see about my ingredient that made easiest homemade adobo. This move everyone. Move, okay. Move. Pork belly, spring onion, chicken egg, boil, vinegar, bay leaf, sugar, 
soy sauce, garlic, black pepper corn, salt. You see all my ingredients. Maybe you feel like this is original, although both are not. I'm telling you all done. It's not original. Become easy as homemade adobo. So moving to the process. Here, pork belly. Come over there. Yes, and try to choosing that you see that layers of it is skin, fat, meat, and then fat. And this is the kind of very nice pork belly. Okay, so let's move in. Oh, this is my rolling pin, and it's gonna be working out. And right now, this is start of combat with this kind of dobo. And this is the meat that I'm using for. Masa, okay. What? Why I massage? Listen to me. You know, the tip for massage the meat gonna be seem like help or improving the meat is very, very tender. Okay. Why? Because that's gonna be softer and let it become softer, more softer than. So why it's not tender? Yes. 100% correct and tender. Alright. So after the massage, what's going to do next? Oh. All right. Mm. Not only stripping like this, cutting it more. Come on. All right. Have a look at that. Mm -hmm. That is cube. Cube. I'm gonna be let it grill. Heat up oil. So everyone moving. Encourager or material. Okay, come on, come on. Everyone, come on. Topping. Oh. oh my god. Be careful for this. You know that pork belly and that skin gonna be boom master. So go far far like me, everyone. Like heat it up, become so high. Don't take it out until that become brownie color. Okay, keep over there and move everyone. You know, for garlic, using it, um, I using it five. And this is, I know that I'm gonna be get a score because of my Uncle Roger and another like the Andy gonna be giving the score because of I'm top. Not top, not top, everybody. Just crossing. Garlic all done. So, we prepare another crockery that's gonna be topping on the back corn as well. Here, bay leaf. So, let, let taking it off. This kind of bay leaf. Black pepper or black pepper corn. Salt, sugar, soy sauce. Oh, one more thing. It's the vinegar. This is vinegar. You know, for vinegar, you can choosing another like apple vinegar. But for this, is the kind of, you see that? This is the banana vinegar. This is my local product that easy to finding out. So let's check about the back on that is moving or changing the color. Yeah, so let's see. That is so good color, however, that done popping another crossy, but it's changing the color so well. Okay, that's okay. Lead it off until that brownie color at this side as well. Oh, that's good smell. And it's not boom. So, it's mean like not boom. It's mean the meat is so good enough. So, let's lead up. You see? Here is so brownie color. So good. Changing its side nicely. 
All right, it is the time for topping all the curiosity and keep simmer into this kind of pot. All right, so what are I gonna be topping first? Not only the water, vinegar come along. This. Oh, 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 all right. Just only this amount. So what? Black pepper, black peppercorn. Bay leaf. Garlic. So that is the really needed. You know why this has become hybrid, you know, because of adding some salt and soy sauce. So Uncle Ronje seem like don't complain about this because I telling you all that this is easy as homemade. Soy sauce. Sugar. That is all good. Everyone, that become hot bubbling of the crockery and smelly, smelly good from some of the bellies, black paper corn, all the soy sauce, and it doesn't like sour, sweet, sour, sour taste from the vinegars as well. Everybody seem like no need to move, just only lead on and keep over there 30 minutes, everyone. So lead up. That arriving of 30 minutes of thin up. Yes, all right. This is my rice that I'm very prepared all done. And just only the spring onion that is not the topping. Let thin up. Oh, then finally you feel like this is similar to the colors of this breast or pork belly or not. Mm, I feel like similar, but you see in it is shocking in the oil. So those gonna be become a bit hot, but not so hot because of why? Because I massage it all done. You see, that is really good looking. Um, yes, the colors, everything becomes so brown. Oh, one more thing, I'm not yet on um, caption that a topping egg because I forget. Sorry, my topping is all done and the colors of it is so good like this. And for egg, just only optional, everybody. So gonna be taking it out and toppings on steam rice. Okay, so let's coming on. I'm using this spatula because that oil, I don't want to get that oil. This is optional for spring onion. Yes, 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 adobo. All done, that looks so good. And let you see and compare to another, like, yes, I really caring about the Uncle Roger that is the commentator all the time. Okay, so let's see. Yes, you see the colors of it, also round, so nice. And let's check about the meat first. You see that meat? Wow, amazing coloring. So like, I feel similar to the breast. Yeah, you feel like this is similar to breast or not? Mm -hmm. And there's a stickiness with this kind of black peppercorn as well. And so nice. Not only this, you see the colors of this egg also turned to be so, so good. And smelly, smelly good that you feel the garlicky um, peppercorn. So soy sauce as well, not only this. And also eating with, this is the same right that optional, egg also optional as well. But about the adobo, not optional. Come on, passing that. I'm the winner or not? Oh, before, okay, let's see about consistent, consistencies of it. Hmm, you see, that is very, very soft in it. Easy, that skin also soft, so testing. Um, 
my god, damn so. Hmm. Yummy. It seems like blend of salty and sweet. This is the first time that I eating that adding vinegar and also eating that apple bowl. But I feel like I'm the winner. I'm the winner. Yummy. You see that easily to break. It's like consistency of it. Very, very soft inner. Mm -hmm. Oh ho. So, adding with steam rice as well. Gonna be really best test ever. I feel so good. Hmm. You know, the stickiness of the black peppercorn become crispiness. Um, spiciness adding that has so so good. Oh, I can't believe. Mm. Vinegar works so good. A black pecan stickiness works so well for pushing that has so so nice. So that step is really really good for this kind of adobo. And how do you think? How do you feel after you get that? After you see the results of me that you see that. Everything is a browny color, consistency soft and so good, yummy. <sighs> that is like you, mommy test. <sighs> oh my goodness. So, all my referee, all my charges, you as well, that I'm the winners or not? Okay, let, 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 give me point, please. And um, this is the very easiest of the bowl at home. So, if you enjoy, don't forget to click like subscribe commenting and sharing also sharing to let this uncle roger another like andy and everybody that i mentioned for okay they see and how they feel let's i really want them so up about their idea so gonna be see you guys next recipe or challenging bye